Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I'm back with another video um, of some more items that I created to send out um, for my Just Because gifts for my YouTube buddies. And if you haven't seen my first video, in which will be a series because my list is long, um, I'll put the link um, below so you can see the first set um, that I did. And it was of altered fry boxes. It's just a good way to send like a Just Because and it was really quick and easy. And I was able to um, put just some a small amount of goodies in there um, just to, you know, send, as like I said, as a just because. Because I appreciate you guys and I appreciate you leaving awesome comments and your encouragement and your inspiration. And um, you guys make me smile. So, without further ado, the first thing that I want to share with you is this cute, 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 cute little box I created this is an SVG file from silhouette uh, online store uh, I cut via my cameo and this is open a little bit I'm gonna seal it closed but I wanted to leave it open to um, share with you guys and if you can see here without the glare it's a um, like a doily edge it's very pretty like I said these files are 99 cents so I had a ton of fun looking through and finding them and then this uh, glare here is some acetate that I put in between there um, to hold my goodies in there I use a rosette flower uh, from Gisela lavish laces and I use one of my bottle caps from the swap that I hosted and this particular one belonged to Brandy Porter <coughs> excuse me and then I used a little sentiment sentiment from the Prima Romance Novel Collection. Um, so I also use some bling. You see this bling um, trim here, and then some pink flat back pearls. So on the back, it has these little lips, and this is a little card, or leave a little notice here. I'm going to write with my um, gel pen a little note on the back to the recipient, and this just goes along with the uh, paper collection. It slides back right there. And on the inside, I created it's a cute little box. This box is so, so cute. So I have, I put it together not thinking that I had to do the video. So take me a second. On the back, I have a little pop dot, sticky adhesive dot, so that in the mail, it won't slide all around and, you know, people wonder what's in there or whatever. So I have a little pop dot. And then on the inside, I just have some um, pattern paper from the collections that typewriter note paper. So this is what the recipient will get and I really hope she likes it so I handmade this obviously all my gifts are handmade but this is my first time making this um, it's a thimble charm it's so cute it's so cute let me try to lay it out it's pretty long it's a vintage um, thimble charm and then very pretty. I absolutely love how it turned out. I'll go over it quickly. I have a little lobster clasp, a little flower, a bead, a bead here, and then, um, I don't know if you guys can see, when she does the video, you'll be able to see it a little better, but there that is. A spacer and a bead, some bead caps, the thimble itself. And then I have this chain, a lot, three or four chain lengths, and each chain has just little goodies on it. It's a Marion Tr Smith trinket pin. I tied some lace bauble. This is the button. And then this string has, um, let's see if I can, this string has another bauble. And then this cute little um, clock charm. And then some lace. There's another little bauble. And then this um, Articate tin. And then the second one has this Tim Holtz token. It says Courage. And then I altered a little bottle, has some paint in there with some um, seam binding around it and another little button there. This one is a strip of bling trim, a uh, bling chain and a key with a uh, seam binding tied around it, a little bobble hanging at the end. And then this last one is another chain, a bobble, a bling, and then the huge bling. So. That's that. I was really excited uh, 
to do it and I got into it and I thought, whoo-wee, I don't know how people make tons and tons of these, but I like how it turned out. I'm happy with it and I hope that uh, she likes it. So along with this, because I didn't make a card per se, I made something a little different. So that's her just because gift, but this is my very first Prima Doll Tag. Prima Doll Tag is so stinking, stinking, stinking cute. I love it. Look at it. And you can't see the shimmer, 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 but it's all glimmer misted it. And um wish I can show you better, but my camera isn't working, so I have to use my webcam. So um anyway, I have some seam binding. And I try my best to do the seam binding like um, Jim Dell does, but it doesn't turn out very well. Stamp my Prima doll on my um, pads that I got from Tammy, SS Crafter One, and her giveaway winnings. I have some um, flourishes over here and tucked behind here. Got from the Cameo uh, Silhouette online store. I stamped her three times, her, her body, and then I stamped it again in the romance paper for her bodice. And then again in the numbers paper for her skirt, which I won't ever do because black on black is very hard to fussy cut. Um, I layered the paper a couple times here. And this is on a black chipboard, lightweight chipboard tag. And then if you can see here, I used some um, modeling paste for some texture all around down here, over here, up there. Very cute. At the top, I have some um, roses, pink, white, and black. I distressed with some more of the modeling paste and paint. And then I have some bling trim here and here. I also have the flower collection down here. And then on each of the leaves for the little spray, I put a flatback pearl. And then I stamped out the word beautiful on the leftover paper, distressed it, and added like a little wavy banner. You see that? And then... Um, this is a flower I got from Marion Smith's download. So I did the flower, used some um, texture paste and some paint, and put a little rose in the center. The skirt has a trim, like a little flare trim underneath it. And then down here is a nice little charm. You can see it's a charm, a bottle cap charm that I did, that I got on my swap. Um, and this again is from Brandy Porter. So both of these char bottle caps were from Brandy Porter and then on the back I just left it tore some paper left it blank because I'm gonna put a nice little sentiment here um, a nice little saying here so I love how this turned out it is so so pretty <sighs> I hate to give it away because I love it but it's cute anyway that's um, that's that one so that's one where am I on time all oh, this video is gonna be long um, well, the next things that I made were, I'm going to try to do it. I'll do this in pairs, how they're in sets of how they're going to get it. So I made these altered paper bags, which seems to be the it thing now. So these are the Michael's celebrated bags and I used white craft and black on, depending on what paper I used. So, um, this is some more, um, seam binding up here. This is a tag. I use the Moments Paper Collection and look at this cute charm. I love it. This is from the Bottle Cap Swap. I hated to give this one away because it's so cute, but you have to give, you have to give. It'll come back to you. So hopefully someone will rack me some more of these. <laughs> Just playing. Just kidding. So this charm is from um, Lima Bean Love. Halima, I believe is her name. So thank you so much, girl. This is such a beautiful charm. And then I used some trim. Um, this particular set, I used mainly the trim and laces from my gift set swap. And unfortunately, I don't know who who it is, but I'm trying to get the packaging here. The leftover, the leftovers were in this little. I don't know. There's no name on it, so I'm not sure. But if this is yours, thank you. I used her entire um, gift set swap. So here's the flower that she created, stickles, pin, um, a little bead in the center, I, the trim, the silver heart trim. This is my lace from my stash. And I just um, 
added some Martha Stewart punch. And then this says, friendship is the golden thread that ties the heart of the world, of all the world. So I used some filigree from um, Butterbee Scraps, some more of the tinsel from her um, swap. I used a rosette um, jean trim that I got from Gisela Lavish Laces. This is the back of the bag. Very cute. And like I said, the tag um, will just fit right in here. And then um, the recipient will be able to keep that and, and just display this in their craft room. So along with um, that, the that card is what I'm is what I'm calling it. The recipient will receive a da, 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 teacup pin cushion. It's more <laughs> so stinky cute. It's more for display. But I got these teacups at the thrift store. After I went hauling from SS Crafters Challenge, there was a set of seven for seven dollars. Teacup and saucer and hanging thing. So I left three out so I can play tea with my daughters and then the other four I'm using. So um, this is what the teacup, look how tiny it is. So I used some laces and trim from the swap. I used some of my stash from my flowers, painted it in white. Um, just like a brush paint with the white love how this trim is just it looks like delicate cupcake and tea i love how it turned out down here some more flowers ribbon roses um etch the the edge of the same with the same fabric i use e6000 to hold my cup in and then they will also get three stick pin cushion cushions they can just hold it because up here i used some frosting is what i was you know tea with the little froth so it's hot glued on here so you won't be able to get a pin in there if you wanted to anyway. So it's more, it's more so for all of the outside, but you could still use it or you can display it. But I tried to coordinate as, as best as possible. So this is the yellow and blue set that um, one of the ladies will get. So try to get this out the way. Oh, I don't know where to put this. Okay. The next one is... This cute little one, so pretty, so pretty. It says, life's truest happiness is found in the friendships we make along the way, which is so very true. Um, some of the, my closest friends are from YouTube, so um, which is sad to say, but that is very true, So, um, which I've made along my scrapbooking journey. So here's the inside. This is the seam binding from Gisela's um, swap from her clothespin swap. So I added a flat back pearl and that is the back from my sentiment. And then I just layered the paper, three layers with the sentiment, another, um, some beads. I used, um, this stick pen is from Audrey who was so good all in the stick pens, um, the swap we did, the gift set swap. And then this, um, this is Gisela's, I believe, bottle cap swap with lace and then a little charm hanging down there and then I have some of that trim and this says today yesterday and tomorrow kind of correlating with the friendships we make along the way today yesterday and tomorrow cut out this little piano and these couple little stamps and that's the back of that so that goes with this and um, like I said I'm gonna put my little sentiment in there and these paperback things are so stinking easy to make so you should give it a try and I'm having the issue I cannot see Putting this back in here I don't want to miss mess up anything so that's that and um, to go with this what did I have to go with this not sure anyway I'll show you the next one yeah okay so I'll show you this one and then this is the tag the tag look at this charm again it's so 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 pretty I believe this one is from Tracy TYJ419 and then I have some Chinese braid and some more um, seam binding and the seam binding came from Gisela's package again on her bottle cap swap so that's the front and back for my sentiment and then here is the front of the card or um, altered paper bag and then this says the language of friendship is not words but meanings 
here. And then this pin, stick pin, belonged to Miss Sad 64 from the swap. This ribbon rose is Regina. She's the owner of the Cutting Cafe from the gift set swap. Gisela's lace, rosette trim. I glossy accented the word bonjour. This is lace from my stash. This um, clothes pin is from Tracy, TYJ419. This adore I cut out of the paper collection. That's the back. Okay. So the recipient received this is their card. And their gift is another teacup. <laughs> it's so cute. This looks like a cupcake. I swear I want to eat it. But look at all of the lacy gorgeousness. Got some lace going all around here. Some seam binding at the bottom. Some more flowers from my stash painted in some white paint and two layers of lace and then some pearls heart pearl trim going around and some rosette trim that i put on the side the stick pin cushion is pink satin another gisela's rosette trim at the top with a little flower from my stash and then the stick pins uh, this is regina's stick pin from the stick pin swap and this is my stick pin so that's that so the person, um, this is their set. So get that all packaged up and ready to go. And then I also created, this is my last one. <laughs> Here's another one, different from, I used a Prima Almanac for this one. And this one I used, no, this is Prima Printery. And this is Prima Almanac. So, um, this same stamp, Life's Truest Happiness is found in Friendships We Make Along the Way. Another one of Gisela's um, ro ribbon rosettes. Um, a flower from my stash with some stickles on it. Beautiful sentiment from Prima Romance Novel. Also some ribbon that I cut out, fussy cut from the paper. And a little clock from the paper. Some pearl beads in pink and yellow. Flatback pearl with the Martha Stewart punch. Um, some flowers from my stash collection up there. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous um, bottle cap. This one is, um, not sure. Oh, I hate that I can't remember. It might be Gisela. It might be Kippard Snacks. It might be Leah Cordell. I'm not sure, but it's fabulous. And it correlates with the paper very, very perfectly. And then here's the inside. Some seam binding. That's going to be my little sentiment. Very, very pretty love how that hangs like that Ooh. and that's the back of the um paper bag so this just goes inside here you can tell i got addicted to making these so the person who receives that and i know i hope she loves it i know these are her colors so this is what i created for her it's so cute so cute this is what i originally is what it looked like these are on sale at joann's for buy one get one they were $1.99, so you buy one, get one for um, half off. So this is what it is originally. And I used this little, um, remember I had those little wooden things that I couldn't figure out what to do with. So I used my texture paint, painted it, gesso, painted it up. And then it's the stand for my globe. Get this out of here. And then I just used some of that trim down at the bottom. So this says, friendships are sewn one stitch at a time. And that just hangs. Tried to make it like a snow globe, so I think it turned out beautifully, um, if I do say so myself. <laughs> but I used um, some, all these flowers are from my stash, colored them with white paint, then um, used stickles all around the edges, some seam binding, I brushed with some paint, painted it with some pink chalkboard ink from Tattered Angels, another little pink flower in the center. I'm not sure where the stick pen came from, but it's from the stick pen swap. Another flower collection, some leaves over here, some seam binding, very pretty. I used this gray trim that I got um, as a hostess gift in one of the swaps, and then teardrop trim on top of it. And I got this white lace from June Cries 315. I bought a lace bag from her, and that was in there. And then um, the back has this big, large uh, rosette that I got, of course, from Gisela. And then the inside has a ribbon buckle and a flatback pearl, along with a leaf 
spray. And I don't know if you can see the inside, but I sprayed it with this um, Crafty Bond, just a quick zit zit, zit zit type spray. And then I quickly added some um, shake glitter that I got from the Michaels dollar fifty bin that I can't seem to find right now. But I just quickly added some shake glitter around it um, through the top. And then on the inside is a bird. A bird and a bird's nest. Can you see? Down there is the nest. There's some eggs. And there's my little bird. And it's all glittered with some, um, the eye as a bling. See? Sorry about the angle and the glitter, but it's so pretty. And I'm so happy with how it turned out. See, there's the eggs in there. Um, so happy. It took a while of trying to finagle that stuff in there, but because the mouth is so small, I, could, I had to do, you know, the piece by piece in there. So, but that's what she gets. And I hope, I really, really hope she likes it. So this is the set that she'll receive with that. So, um, that's it. I'm done for this video. And like I said, there will be plenty more because I want to show my gratitude for everyone's comments and them taking the time to like and leave comments and feedback and share my videos on their videos and talk about it. So like I said, I just want to say thank you. And I don't, I'm not the richest person, so I can't buy everybody racks. And I think that handmade gifts say a lot. And believe me, I've been working a lot on these handmade gifts. So I hope you guys like it and uh, let me know what you think. Sorry for the long, long, long video. <laughs> Bye.